Well, we've, uh, we've seen Brian Baldinger break down offensive linemen. This is an interesting one, too, because it's, it's an offensive lineman's perspective on Miles Garrett. So here's Brian Baldinger uh, breaking down Miles Garrett against the Titans. This is the third play of the game for Tennessee. Third and three right here. First third down. Third play. Miles Garrett gets to that four-point stance. He's going to let Andre Dillard feel his punch. Like, he felt his punch all day. Like, he knew the power rush was working. Gets to Tannehill. He throws the ball errant to D-Hop. All right, now, tight ends have no idea how to defend this guy. No idea. Like, they're, got, they're touching each other so that they can hear the snap count. It doesn't matter. Like, before the... Derrick Henry gets the ball. He's already past those tight ends. It's just a waste of time. It's a silly scheme. And guys are getting excited, too. All right, now here we go. Three out of the first eight plays, he was a human wrecking ball. Like, here it is. Ryan Tannehill. Like, the ball's up in the air. That's a fumble, a forced fumble. Somehow, Henry falls on top of it. Right here, he's going to force a hole. The flag's going to come out as Tannehill tries to get outside the pocket. There's the flag. You force a hold. All right, now you keep doing this. Five-man rush right here. All right, you got Miles on this side. You got Oko inside coming over the guard. Oko wins on the twist. All right, it's like a pierogi sandwich right here. And then Miles just like, Phew. you want to know what that elf looks like or feels like? Miles tossed you to the ground. And Jeff, you, you, again, that's from the perspective of somebody who's used to trying to deal with that. Um, and it's, it's a good indication of how much of a problem Jim Schwartz is making Miles Garrett. Well, the thing is, is that the talent, this was the plan always for Miles. This would always be the plan for any defensive coordinator. But, you know, you can't just do it with any old guys playing with them. They've got to be legit personnel because you've got to be able to have the confidence to say, well, Zadarius Smith can go one-on-one -on -one with any left tackle in a league. Uh, but Ankaronko can do the same thing against any left tackle. If you truly want to make Miles Garrett as special as he can be and wreaking the havoc that he does, the other guy's got to be able to perform and you know perform up to a certain level. And I think that was the biggest difference they made in the effort of getting all these you know, these – skill more skilled players on the defensive line in here because all eyes and we all know the play from later on in the game you know all eyes are on miles all the time well that's great but the problem is if all tw all 22 eyes are on miles you know that means how much are you paying attention to the smiths the okaronk woes and of course even alex wright and maurice hurst who both had pl played big roles for this team on sunday if you're getting to the point where we're talking about the browns you know fourth uh defensive end and third or fourth defensive tackle starting to be guys that can produce, I mean, it's it's lights out because that's just an incredible defensive line if you can start to get production from those guys on your, you know, in your groupings.